So what has God said? Well, God has said that by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. Now, why could that be a reality? He said that in 1 Peter chapter 2, 24. Why could that be a reality? Because really, sickness is declared as a portion or a part of the curse of the law, the curse of falling short or the curse of imperfection. So now if I'm covered with the righteousness of Jesus and on my behalf he took the stripes that I deserved for my sin, then by his stripes, or in other words him taking the punishment upon his body for me, by his stripes I receive healing. Is that right? And so therefore, if I, if I believe that in my heart and confess that with my mouth, then it releases healing to become a reality in my life. It opens up windows and floodgates of healing. It, it opens up physicians to me. It opens up knowledge to me. It opens up wisdom to me. It opens up self-control to me. What if the healing that I need comes from a dietary change? What if it comes from an exercise change? What if it comes from a relational a relational opening that suddenly somebody's in my life and they know something that will give me healing? See, not all healing comes from the anointing at the altars through the prayer minister. The leaves of the trees have been given as healing for us. Hello, somebody. So therefore, there's, there's wisdom in a right diet, and there's wisdom in all sorts of other treatments for the things that might be ailing us. And it's not wise for us to eat the all-American McDonald's diet and drink two ounces of water a day and, and come forward for prayer all the time. Hello, somebody. And then somebody comes with knowledge or wisdom or understanding or somebody comes with some kind of an herbal treatment or some kind of a dietary recommendation or somebody comes with a physical breakthrough and we say, well, that's not of the anointing. That isn't of God. That isn't through a prayer minister. I can't receive that. Have you tried oatmeal? No, this pork sausage is doing me fine. Could it be the person who suggested the oatmeal might have been anointed with a gift of the word of knowledge over your life, but you said no to that because it didn't come through the prayer minister at the altar? So we're saying, by his stripes we are healed, because by his stripes we were healed. It's a past tense reality. And what it does when we begin to believe this in our heart and confess it with our mouth, or agree with what God has said over us and about us, it releases the power of salvation to begin to work. And it doesn't just work through goosebumps. It works through all sorts of methodology. All at once knowledge and wisdom and understanding and self-control begins to flood its way and press and push its its way into our lives.